Hi, how are you? Thought I'd show you around my garden, see what I've been up to. I'm just trimming now, called deadheading, some of my pumpkin babies. Have a look at them. Look how huge they are. And I'm training them up for this wire here, which is just amazing to think that these were seeds when I first planted them at the beginning of Circuit Breaker. And now if you just have a look, Ruby, step back a bit so you can see how huge they are. They're massive. And the flowering, and there's loads of pollinators in the garden. It's making me really, really happy. And if you have a look down here, you can see how the plant is developing. I love it. Here's my mulch that I use from my old leaves. And this is a sunflower that I got from my neighbors. And if you take a look over here at this bed, you'll see that I'm planting some marigolds in the bricks. I have some periwinkles here, some mint underneath my frangipani. This is ginger that I planted from a piece of ginger. This is turmeric. There's aloe down there. Another sunflower It's getting ready to do something really exciting. And here's the okra. This is called Brazilian Snapdragon. And I introduced this to the garden just to encourage the bees and wasps and the pollinators to come in. This is basil. Um, there's my sweet potato. Look how big it is, it's lovely. And it's really popping out of the pot now and crawling around, which is great. Tomatoes. Fresh mulch down there because this bed gets really, really hot. These little beauties are eggplant. And this is to stop snails getting in there. I don't know how effective it is, but anyway. Battling the insects now and the things that are enjoying munching on my plants. Over here, these are, these are beautiful, aren't they? Cucumber. See if you can get the shot of the tendrils. I love how it's climbing and attaching. Beautiful nature there at play. And that one is a bitter gourd and it's massive. It's all the way to the top. Planted from a seed. It's so satisfying. Okay, come and have a look over here. Here's the bed. And I've started to harvest my yield. We've eaten some of the bok choy this week and we need to eat some more. The rocket's beautiful. I'm gonna use that in a salad tonight for um, some friends I've got coming over. It's really, really lovely cooking things and just coming out and foraging in the garden. The kale, oh, it's struggling. Can you see the blue green ones there? But look at that red leafed spinach. That's gonna be delicious. It's like a work of art, look at it. Beautiful, and it's absolutely thriving here. Fantastic. Some more flowers here, peace lily. Beautiful, periwinkle, the bees really love that. And these are some more basil. The basil just keeps growing. And look at the okra. Look how huge it is. This stuff is unkillable. If you ever want to plant anything, plant okra. It grows everywhere. There's even some in the pots over there, look. And here we have some more Chinese greens and some micro greens, different types of basil. It's so exciting. Some more aloe here trying to grow my grass back and this is Thai basil this is going to be a chili and it's going to grow up this repurposed bamboo that I found on the street and this one rather funny name this is called a bleeding heart this is a climbing vine and I really want to grow that look at it, it's beautiful I want to grow that up and I want to grow it over the top of my garden to give the garden some shade. So I'm trying to apply the principles of permaculture, starting to plan and design better. I've stopped moving all the plants around, which is good because I think they're in the right spot now. But yeah, give everybody a little pan of the garden. It is a really vibrant, lush, green spot. And we love sitting out here and enjoying it. And it used to be a dead zone. So I'm kind of proud of it. How's your growing going? Hope you're okay. Bye.